we're gonna get our new 21 millimeter wrench, slide under here. Comes right off. Hello and welcome back to Speed Freak Garage, home of Power Sports on YouTube. Today we're going to be LS swapping our 2019 Chevrolet Colorado ZR2. Or that's what you're going to hear me say in about five years when the warranty runs out because they've actually developed a swap kit for this truck with full electrical uh, compatibility. So that's pretty freaking awesome. So. It's pretty fucking awesome. It's really fucking awesome. Just imagine an eight in this truck like it should have had in the first place. So anyway, today we are actually installing the Daton Fab ZR2 shock skids because even after driving down a gravel road, there is damage on the OEM shock guard. So this uh, shock skid is a necessity. Anyone who owns a ZR2 and doesn't just pussy drive it to the mall every day, needs these shock skids because the way the shocks are on the truck, they're really low, they're not guarded by anything but a little piece of plastic. It's pretty sad, Chevy, shame on Chevy. So anyway, <clears throat> the, for the 2019 ZR2, the instructions from Daton Fab are actually incorrect. What you will need is you'll need a 21 millimeter wrench, a 21 millimeter socket, and then an 18 millimeter wrench. A 19 millimeter wrench doesn't fit their bolt, so I'm confused why they say you need a 19, because it's an 18. It's obviously an 18. So, <clears throat> and then you'll need a 14 millimeter, let me start over, blah. Okay, you'll need either a ratchet or an impact. You'll need a 21 millimeter socket. You'll need a 14 millimeter socket. You'll need a 21 millimeter wrench, an 18 millimeter wrench, a rubber mallet, a punch, a torque wrench, Loctite, and a magnetic tray. And then Daton sent us um, the skids, the new bolts. They actually sent some Loctite, which I already have my own, so I'll just keep this for later. And they sent other little components. So we're going to throw our little components in the mag tray so we don't lose them. <clears throat> And then we can go ahead and start taking apart this side here. So I don't have a 21 millimeter impact socket, so I don't want to hear your guys' shit for not using one. Um, I know it's not safe, but you know what? There's nothing I can do. I'm not going to go to AutoZone and spend $10 on one socket. Fuck that. So <clears throat> we're going to get our new 21 millimeter wrench, slide under here. comes right off and of course it's all nasty and dusty because I've been actually driving my truck like a truck um, so now getting this out actually I'm surprised I'm gonna use the punch and rubber mallet if I can because it'll allow me to keep the shock from expanding so I'll show you guys what I mean here so the shocks gonna try to expand and if I put the punch in place of the bolt there so now I'm holding the shock in place with the punch and I want to check something because this bolt is definitely different than what they sent me make sure the threads are right by hand okay they are I was a little worried about that since their instructions were wrong because you know I mean they make improvements every year and if they don't test the new year so you can see the difference. Uh, this has a much stronger collar on it. This has too many threads. This is a very bad engineering design because there are threads where there's a shear point on the shock. That's fucking stupid, Chevy. So uh, Daton does it right. They put a longer shank. They put slightly longer threads. You won't have this pilot anymore. This is just for assembling it as fast as possible. So I'm gonna keep that as a spare. So we got this, we got our nut, we got the Loctite, 
okay? And then they said to put everything finger tight first, and these aren't left and right, these are symmetrical, so. Um, I think the hard part is gonna be, so we've gotta get this. Oh yeah, this is gonna suck. I apologize if the lighting's not too good. Okay, so we have to, this is really gonna suck, I can already tell. Okay, so the shock is charged, see? But with two hands, I can push it back up. I mean, I'm a, I'm a weak nerd, so. Ah. Oh my God, that is a lot of shock. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. Oh boy, might have to go get my jack. Yeah, I'm gonna do this the smart way. Ah. So if you're a weak little skinny nerd like me, you're gonna need a jack. Um, there's no. No shame in admitting that you, <laughs> you can't compress an off-road shock by yourself. The only problem is this is a low profile jack, so hopefully it's tall enough. Uh, this light is right in the way. be easier if my lift was free. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our shock skid. I'm gonna have to lower the jack. Come on. Look at that. Okay, now we're gonna just stick the bolt in here to hold it for a sec. Okay, then we can use our jack, look at that. Now that's using your smarts. <laughs> okay, and so it kind of naturally wants to go back into place. So I gotta pull this bolt out here. And you don't wanna bind it. Look at that. Look at that. Uh-oh, too high. Ooh, right there. What am I missing? Ah, that's why. Okay, so I'm gonna use the punch on this side to get the, well, I might have to do it here. They get the shock line, it, it does not want to line up. Oh shit. Come on. Ha. Yeah. Come on, line up. Fuck, that light's probably drowning out all your guys's. There, right there. Come on. Gotcha. Okay. Move the jack now. Ow. Fuck this light. It's in my fucking way. Okay, well, I apologize if you guys can't see. I can see just fine. I don't, my GoPro's a piece of crap, so I need a new one. But anyway, I'm sorry if you can't see, but that light's in my fucking way. Okay. Come on, what is it stuck on? There we go. So, I put this in safety mode, since you're supposed to use a torque wrench. Wait, oh, that's right, it's an 18 now. Don't know why they chose to use a different bolt head. Our 
nut and our Loctite. Come on. Okay, so um, now we want to grab our mag tray and install this. So now we basically are gonna be on a ticking clock once we get the Loctite going, so. And uh, this part might not be so straightforward. So, and do that and that. We're gonna. Well, I don't need to do this yet, but <clears throat> we're gonna. Oh crap! Shit! This Loctite's. I'm kind of trapped under my spare tire. So, this isn't really something I plan to take off. So, oh, no. Oh, hell. This is gonna be a pain in the dick. <clears throat> Ow, motherfucker. Fuck. Oh, it's really wedged in there good now. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I feel like a total idiot. This is supposed to be an easy install. Okay, I need to I need to stop for a sec. Fuck. God damn fucking shit. Okay, I got a magnet wand. This might be able to uh, pull this shit out. Ah, come on. Got it, okay. Magnet wand, add that to the list of shit you need. So, get all this crap out of my way. Okay. So just a heads up for you guys, this isn't exactly straightforward. So anyway, well, from what I'm seeing, it doesn't even fit. Bolt's not long enough. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. There we go. Got it. Man, that's not many threads. That is not many threads at all. Where's that? So I'm not gonna actually put it to spec. I'm just gonna tighten it up a little bit. They said hand tight, so that's what I'm gonna do. That's definitely not right. Something's not right there. Okay. 
Okay. All right. So now, uh, I'm gonna lock tight this. I know you're supposed to put it on the nut, but whatever. Okay. Damn. Okay. And then I need the. That, that, that sucks, I don't have a different, this is the only size 21 I have. I know this is not ideal for a torque wrench to be. set my torque wrench up to wait this only goes to 80 foot pounds okay so I'm gonna set this one on 25 for that other bolt and then I'm gonna have to go get my bigger torque wrench for the hundred foot pounds I need for that bolt so set that on 25 and we can take my little adapter out oh what a mess and of course it's backwards All right, I'm gonna set this big old fucker to 50, 75, 100. I'm gonna do 101 just because of the uh, long, cheap socket. Okay. All right. Just ignore the storm outside for the second day in a row. Okay, we're gonna do this the smart way. <clears throat> so I got this thing on safety mode. It can't achieve 100 foot-pounds, no way. So we're gonna... <clears throat> Actually, a little concerning that leaves the shock look. Hold on a sec. This thing leaves the shock loose in the. Look at it. The shock's loose. I wonder. If the 100 foot pounds is supposed to fix that or if they. It's not spinning now. Make sure the torque is set right. Man, I don't have much room to work with here. I think it is compressing the... Okay, good. I was gonna say, it's kind of fucked up if it doesn't. <clears throat> Come on. <sighs> Gotta be getting close to 100 foot-pounds. <clears throat> Why is it slipping? Whew. Come on. There we go, okay. Whew. All right, now we can take our 
a little torque wrench and do the 25 foot pounds on the other side. Uh, not really sure how to get to it, honestly. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, that's one side. So now, got a beautiful steel protector for a very vulnerable piece of equipment that's also extremely expensive to replace if something happens. So, now onto the other side. Two full power. Two, three. There's my eighteen. Oh wait, sorry, my bad. Twenty-one. This time, I'm just gonna let the shock fall since I pretty much confirmed I have to use a jack. Damn, thought that would have had it. Okay. Wait, where did I? Oh, yep, there, okay. Now I need to go get the jack and the skid and the bolt. So again, sorry about the lighting. Um, it's the best I can do. Might be, might actually be easier to work from this side. Maybe. Oh, man, it's so dark in here. I, I apologize. Uh, nothing I can do about that. Okay, so the new bolt has to go in. Just wish I could, there was a way to like hold the shock in place, but I'm just not strong enough. Oh yeah. Well, actually, if I can catch it before it goes all the way down, um, <sighs> come on, use your muscles. Don't be a pussy. Uh, oh boy, it's really pushing on me. Ooh. Oh man, I think that's pure luck. I got it without the uh, <laughs> without the jack. Okay. Whew. So now we're gonna go back to the other side and put this in. Okay, 
here we go with the tricky part. I should have been done with this job 30 minutes ago. easy. I don't know why the other one had to be such a pain in my dick. <clears throat> I'm just gonna get a little hand tight. That way it doesn't move. Okay. Now we can go back, do the hard one. And again, we're gonna set it on safety mode. And then we're gonna get her tightened up. Okay. I need to find some softbox lighting for this kind of shit, but I thought I was gonna be working on the lift from now on. Wasn't really prepared for. Okay. Well, I need that. All right, where's the torque wrench? Okay. So we need to make sure it's still set on one. Ooh, it got bumped a little bit. I'm gonna set it back to 101, just in case. <sighs> click at a time. Two clicks. Great. Slipping. Why is it slipping? Come on. Okay. Whew. All right. Done with that. Done with that. Done with that. Uh, okay. Back to the back where I can do my twenty five foot pounds. Sure, it's still set on twenty five. Yep, man, that differential is just hanging out there in the open. I'm amazed they don't have a skid plate right here. I mean, I know you can buy one, but fuck, it is just hanging low. Oof. I'll, have to, I'll have to remember that when I'm off roading not to high side my diff, that would be expensive as fuck to fix. What the fuck? 
Okay. Whew. And that's it. That's your Daten Fab shock skid install. Hopefully now the shocks are much, 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 much better protected. So, yeah. Whew. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for our next video. Try not to hold me down, feel alive.